Hey guys, Dr. Dilip here and it's a pleasure to introduce one of our toppers. Dr. Krishna Payo scored a fantastic rank of 170 in the recent INICT. And I know the struggles, I know the hard work that you have put in to get this rank, Dr. Krishna Priya. And first of all, hearty congratulations from the entire team, Cerebellum. Thank you so much, sir. And uh, I'm going to ask the first question. So what's the turning point in your preparation journey? What do you feel is the turning point and which point uh, it hit you harder that you have to prepare well? So this is basically my fourth attempt in INICT. Uh, after my uh, internship, uh, I was working in a private hospital in the Department of Emergency Medicine. I worked there for about uh, nine months. And it was a really busy year that uh, studying was never a part. So I, I joined never... that MRCM course, I mean, or you joined as a JR? I joined as a junior resident there. Okay. Uh, so it was a quite a busy year. So I didn't get uh, a single second to study. Uh, mm -hmm. So See, when you're uh, in the year, it's really difficult to study. I mean, most of yeah. the time we're handling a lot of emergencies only. And that is not a joke. Yeah, but uh, the knowledge I acquired from there was a big deal. Uh, so it was That's really... True. Yeah. And uh, uh, then I appeared for the first uh, NEET in 2023 and my rank was 40k. Uh, and I decided to re resign the job and I started preparing seriously. Uh, and in my next attempt in NEET 2024, my uh, rank was 10k. And it was not satisfactory to me. Uh, it didn't seem promising to me. So uh, I asked my family on what to do next. So they were like, you can study until you get the desired rank you want. So that's when I uh, joined BTR and I started my preparation uh, seriously. Okay, just out of curiosity. So what are you going to choose? So uh, my passion is uh, medicine, general medicine. Uh, so uh, I like general medicine very much. Uh, even while working in ER, I chose ER because I can see all the cases. Uh, and that's when I had a passion for general medicine. And did you face burnout during your preparation? I mean, this is a serious question. So everyone, of faced... course, of course, sir. And how did you tackle it? Uh, sir, I don't know how much it means in this uh, Gen Z era. For me, uh, my spirituality and my spiritual upbringing uh, was the biggest strength of mine. And uh, so every time I face a failure, I would pray to him uh, and what to do next. So that was a big question. So I was always optimistic because of that, my devotion. And because of the biggest support I had from my family, my father and my mother. Okay. So you want to tell any specific trick that you followed? So, uh, as Zainab always says, keywords, my keyword is always revision. Uh, there is no point in going behind so many content. There is a lot in uh, everywhere around you. So I would always focus on the word revision. Uh, I'm an early bird. I wake up at 4 a.m. in the morning. And... From 4-1, I would play BTR. In my home, BTR will be starting to play from 4-1. So every till the moment I sleep, I would be playing BTR. I would have listened to the session at least 15 times. I would have revised the videos. And I would have, I have revised it the notes also more than that. Yeah, at least 15. Next question was supposed to be how many revisions that you did. Yeah, so you minimum not, 15, sir. So you did around 15 revisions. Yes, but, sir. Every single topics were in my fingertips. And uh, if you're wake, I mean, if you're starting by four one, then you should be waking up much earlier than that. Mm, yeah, yes, sir. I wake up at three thirty. And every student gives a different story. I mean, some may be like early birds, some may be like uh, preparing late through the night. But one thing that I have consistently heard from all the people who have scored the good ranks is consistency. They always maintain yes. the consistency. They tend to be consistent. They don't waste even like a couple of days in between. So they might take some short breaks in between within a day, but they never give long breaks. And yes, they keep sir. that over and over again. And that too, despite working in an emergency and uh, doing this is like phenomenal, man. Thanks. Um, I have to really appreciate it and everyone has to appreciate it. And the reason why I'm telling this is people often think that uh, toppers don't do anything extra. People who get the good rank don't do anything extra. But if you ask them, you really understand how much they have done extra and how much of work and hard work and the effort that they have put in to get that particular score. And obviously, you must be feeling happy right now. And you must be getting yeah. medicine for sure. Yes, sir, more than happy. It's like a relief. A big burden is off my chest right now. 
yeah monkeys of the back right <laughs> and how did you really handle the volatile subjects i mean so you know, the biggest volatile subjects I, i believe the biochem the micros the short subjects the psm so all these things are basically volatile subjects i feel so the psm was a nightmare it was indeed a nightmare uh, i used to devote 2 hours a day every day 2 hours for psm yes, so that's how i tackled it uh, my mm-hmm. everyday time table was 16 hour time table so every one hour i used to switch subjects because i used to get burned out after studying a subject for a whole day i can't do that so every one hour i switch subject uh, in which half an hour would be for questions i used to make a custom module and so all the questions in half an hour and in the next half an hour i would be seeing which all topics i went wrong and then i would watch the btr video okay so that was how i went about it going to the exam hall uh it was so super anxious my thumb print was not registering a number of times and uh, there was so many like chaos no, going on so strongest subject going to the exam what was your strongest subject strongest subject okay. uh, i think it's medicine sir always uh, even when i look at the gt tracking always medicine is the highest percentile always from starting onwards okay so what was a weak link I mean, before going to the exam hall, which subject did you fear the most, and which subject did you think that it's the weakest? PS. In your PS. PSM, despite yeah. the time, you felt it's the weakest. Yes, yes, I'm so weak in PSM. <laughs> okay, how many GTs uh, did you give? I mean, this is a common question that I ask to a lot of toppers. I mean, answers will vary, but what is your answer? How many GTs did I, you give? And I have so. Did, did you feel like it's the perfect number? Sir, I have sold only twenty five GTs uh, after uh, my twenty twenty four meet. Okay. I would not suggest that. I would suggest to do more GTs. I was much afraid about the GT scores, and uh, so I had that phobia. So I would never recommend anyone to follow this. I would recommend everyone to do maximum GTs as possible and review them. Okay. So, what is the lowest GT score that shattered your confidence? Uh, mine was one twenty. Correct. that shattered your confidence what was your highest yeah. gt score that boosted your confidence uh so 170 correct wow so that's a big difference by the way so yeah. when, when did that happen in which part of your journey all these things happened and i just want to know the timeline uh, uh before neat pg 2024 my uh, maximum was 130 correct and that was when i realized there is some problem in my preparation there is some mistake that i'm doing so that was when i retrospectively uh, asked myself what is actually the mistake i'm doing i was actually revising from the main notes only so it was taking so much time and my revision was not proper enough so that was when everyone was uh, suggesting btr to me and that was when i took btr i'm not saying this for the purpose of any promotion i'm saying it out of my uh, with whole heartedly i'm saying uh, maximum revision i got it from btr so once i started revising btr once i finished around five revisions i started attending the gts my score was drastically improving it was like 140 150 it was small small steps or baby steps but finally i reached 170 okay so one subject that you dreaded a lot but you cracked eventually you should not say psm again i would say pat pat you did it initially but eventually you cracked yeah okay so suppose if you wanted to restart again suppose thinking that you want to restart everything again right from the beginning what will you do um i, I would i would have down a lot of tough questions yeah <laughs> uh, sir i would again say uh, that i would never go behind the main notes the biggest volumes i would never i was doing that that was my biggest mistake so i would make my i was thinking that match volume is very important you have to learn as many as things as possible that was what i thought before but after attending neat i understood that uh, i can't study this much i'm not that brilliant enough to learn everything so i understood i need to make everything crisp and concise this is of your life i would say rather so uh, each and everything comes into play at various phases of life so when you are in a final year or when you are a pre final year you always tend to search for the volumes because you need to get better as a person you need yeah. to more as a person and when you become a physician of course you are going to search more yeah. because you cannot become a good physician unless and until you read more or learn more yeah. because even if you learn more there is a patient who's going to give you trouble Correct. right you will not be able to achieve the diagnosis you will not be able to 
uh treat them properly and you will be carried away at that point of time so there are phases in life where you need a lot of information where you need a lot of things to be remembered and known but yes as you said that post intern phase for the preparation of neat pg ini when you come to competitive exams it's about how much you know in a short span of time yeah that's what is more important rather than just going with the volumes like you said rightly it's all about knowing like what will be asked in exams and uh, but main no help you in concept building only when you have the concept then only you will understand what uh, what is the answer that you need to give so main note will do help you in making concepts no no obviously i mean uh, btr is phenomenal i mean especially for revision so when you want to revise something or when you wanted to uh, like read something in a crisp and concise way so btr is phenomenal i mean the way she has curated the entire notes is like i don't know i mean it's mind boggling everyone so this is something that i've been hearing from every single student and i'm so happy that you have got benefited from all these things and i can see a clear vision in your face as well yes sir and uh, being a physician yes congratulations you decided the path of medicine but yes it's going to be challenging but you will conquer the challenges eventually thank you sir and i i can see that you have persisted a lot and if you can persist for the next few years that's going to take you somewhere thank you so much sir and wishing you all the very best i'm so happy for you thank you sir thank you so much sir thank you so much and wishing you all the very best and convey my regards to your parents to your siblings and everyone they should be proud as well and we are proud okay. as a well. dr krishna priya okay sir thank you so much sir right now i'll convey this to dr zainab also okay thank you so much sir surely thank you so much all the very best Thank you.